Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to solve this problem 033007. Uh, I just like how Epson said this. Uh, see your documentation, documentation for more details. Uh, actually, if you read your user manual, there's no documentation for this. And uh, Epson also have a secret manual, which is the technical manual. And uh, so far, I don't think it's available to the public. I haven't found one yet. Uh, if you have a technical manual for any of the uh, apps and models, uh, and, uh, please share with me. I would love to see that. Anyway, uh, if you get this error, let me guess. What you did is you did a couple of uh, cartridge cleanings before. So doing the cleaning, and uh, you had a lot of ink coming out. And uh, those ink, when they evaporate, they make the moisture content level, uh, they make, make the moisture too high inside the printer, which really mess up the printer cables. So what you're going to do is just use the Epson uh, button, turn the printer off, and unplug the printer. And just let it set for 12, uh, not 12, at least 24 hours. 24 hours later, uh, you're going to see the printer back to life and uh, print it like normal and uh, just like magic. If the magic didn't happen, and uh, try for the 48 hours or even longer. And uh, also be careful, don't let your printer be too dry. Uh, make sure the printer's lid is always closed. Otherwise, you might clog the printer. And uh, say this one still come out with air. So I'm going to just shut the power down and uh, sit it for a little bit longer. Uh, for technical inclined folks, you might want to just take the cover off and uh, clean the cables and also check uh, if any cables are loosened. I have a document for that and I'm going to post it uh, in the description. I did have a printer that's uh, the CSSA, CSSA cable, which is that cable. Uh, that was loosened and uh, I put plug it back and fixed the problem. Okay, this one's fixed. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.